There are three heart conditions a first aider should know how to deal with. Angina, heart attack and cardiac arrest. Angina is a condition in which the heart muscle fails to get enough blood and therefore oxygen. The chest pain associated with angina usually occurs during a period of overexertion. For example, if the patient has been climbing stairs or carrying heavy objects. But it can happen any time, even at rest. The signs and symptoms of angina are similar to those of a heart attack, except they usually subside with rest. They include chest pain, which may not be as severe as the example in this scene, shortness of breath, sweating, nausea, an increased pulse rate, a feeling of weakness, and anxiety. The treatment for angina is to ease the strain on the heart and minimize further damage. Put the casualty at rest and try to establish whether or not the patient has a history of heart conditions. Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, yeah so something wrong with, oh, I don't know, angina or something. Angina? Yeah. Oh, okay. The ideal position to put the casualty at rest is the W position, seated on the floor with the legs drawn up. Then loosen tight clothing to allow them to breathe more easily. And find out if the casualty has medication already prescribed by a doctor. Do you uh, have any medication? Yeah, um, doctor gave me some stuff in there. It's in the front of the car, like a spray like you can a make. Pump, yeah? Okay. yeah? You're right there a second, I'll just go and get it for you, mate. Yeah, okay? I'll be fine. Stay there. It's either in the glove box or in the door, mate. In this okay. example, the first aider fetches the medication to be self administered by the casualty. He also grabs a jacket to keep the casualty warm and to protect him from the elements. Help the casualty to administer the medication that may come in a spray or tablet form. You should expect relief from the angina signs and symptoms within three to five minutes. If the casualty is feeling better, then he or she should be able to continue as per normal but it is suggested they stay clear of a heavy workload for some time. If the pain persists, suspect a heart attack and call an ambulance. A heart attack occurs when a portion of the heart muscle is deprived of oxygen and dies. It's more serious than angina and could lead to cardiac arrest. Hey mate, you doing all right there? I've got pains in my chest again. You're looking too well, fella. No, I don't feel good. No? The chest pain experienced during a heart attack can be described as a crushing vice-like pain in the center of the chest. It may radiate to the jaw and arms. Alternatively, the casualty may experience a mild cramping sensation or abdominal pain. Other signs and symptoms of a heart attack include ashen, clammy skin, a rapid pulse that may also be irregular, shortness of breath, feeling faint or close to collapse, nausea and or vomiting, and an impending sense of doom. Approach the casualty as before and put them at ease by resting them in the W position. Also, loosen any tight clothing. If the casualty has medication, help them to administer it. And above all, call 999 to alert the emergency services. Don't hesitate to call an ambulance. Every second counts when dealing with a heart attack victim. And be prepared to carry out basic life support if the casualty stops breathing normally and goes into a condition known as cardiac arrest. If the casualty stops breathing normally, seek urgent medical help and begin basic life support. Please refer to an earlier chapter for information on basic life support procedures.